Hey monkeys, how you doing? Damien Keys here. Right, it's time for another Facebook review. And before I get started, uh, I want to say that this week I put a status out on Facebook asking for Facebook reviews. And I had about 30 or 40 people who came through saying, review our band or review me as a musician, which is brilliant. Um, and I spent a good few hours going through those people's Facebook. The first thing I noticed is you're not doing the things that we're talking about in the Facebook reviews. So firstly, there are four Facebook reviews on YouTube. So all you've got to do is go on youtube.com forward slash Damien Keys, hit the subscribe button obviously, and there are four current Facebook reviews from the last four weeks. On those Facebook reviews, there is a bunch of stuff that you need to do. The whole point of this is for me to find different angles every week and not do the same thing. So you can't just wait until I pick your band and say, right, go and sort this stuff out. There is stuff that you can sort out immediately. And very few of the bands I checked out had, had actually gone back and looked at these Facebook reviews and checked out what they could do. So that's the first thing. Firstly, watch this video and do the fucking shit that we're, we're talking about. And then go back into the Facebook reviews on YouTube, watch them, look at your Facebook and do the fucking shit again so that you are making your Facebook better and better. And over time, I'd like to start making my way off Facebook onto other social media, but I want to see that this stuff's actually making a difference. So that's your telling off for this week. Everyone, if you haven't actually gone through it and actually gone onto your Facebook, don't just fucking sit there and go, yeah, that makes sense. Actually use the information to actually go into your Facebook and make a difference because I'm not seeing it. So don't think that you're better than everybody else, which is what musicians tend to do. They tend to look at it and go, mm, that's really good advice for other people. Actually take this on board because I'm not seeing you guys doing the things. And it's important. It's going to make a fucking difference. This is your career we're talking about. Anyway, bollocking over. Right. Today's Facebook review is a, uh, a singer-songwriter musician from South Wales, my neck of the woods, uh, called Jack Ellis. He's in so Jack Ellis music. We have got onto it. So... Same as usual, we're going to look at a bunch of ways that we can improve the Facebook. Now, Jack Ellis has got a lot of good things going for him. This guy is talented. I haven't talked to him, but he's talented. Um, came through via that Facebook status saying, check out my Facebook, go to town on it, which I will absolutely do. Um, this guy has got some major talent. He's got some great songs. I think he's got an amazing voice. I think the Facebook, there's a few ways that we can tidy it up and make it a little bit more, um, a bit more exciting for and bring value to the user. I think that's what we need to do a little bit more. But other than that, as an artist, I think he's fantastic. So, so let's have a go. For, for firstly, instant things, first impressions, which is, you know, the most important thing. Someone has heard about you on a gig or seen you at a gig or any of that kind of stuff, and then they've gone, I'll go and check you out on Facebook. They've got your Facebook. They might have had a badge or something. They've got onto your Facebook. What are their first impressions? Now, on their first impression, my first impressions of this is over here, you have a picture of Jack Ellis. So I want to know the first thing, who is Jack Ellis? That is the question I need answered before anything else. Who is Jack Ellis. So at the moment, I know physically he looks like this guy here. So this, I'm assuming, is Jack Ellis. So good picture there. Now coming across to the main banner, this doesn't tell me enough about who Jack Ellis is. At the moment, we have got Jack Ellis possibly in a band. I think I can see a cello player here, a guitar player, drummer, possibly a keyboard player. So I'm assuming they might have a bass player. So I'm like, okay, Jack Ellis is a singer with a band around him. I don't know if this is a rehearsal in a gig or if this is a sound check for a gig, but there's no people in it. So I'm not going to assume anything because people don't want to assume stuff. They want to just get it in their face. So this, this might be a pre sound check where there are what I mean, 500 seats, maybe a thousand seats. If this is a gig which is about to get filled and this is a sound check, then this needs to be a picture of the gig and not a picture of the sound check because anyone can play big venues, but it's all about the people. People want to put themselves in place of other people. So if they see someone going absolutely crazy and loving a gig, they're gonna think, I could be that person going crazy and loving that gig. 
So they're not going to think, I could be sitting in row four. That doesn't really work. So, so in this picture, I think the picture could be better. I think it could tell a better story about Jack. Who is Jack? And then it says, merry-go-round, coming soon. Now, I am all for a call to action, and that is very, very important. I think this call to action could be more hardcore. The story of today's Facebook review is two things. Number one is about stories and how we're telling these stories, because I feel like we haven't gone into detail about that enough. And secondly, what you want the audience to do when they come to your Facebook or when they go on your social media. So telling them what you want to do. So the stories and what you want them to do next. Now at the moment, it says merry-go-round coming soon, but it doesn't say a date, unfortunately. So therefore, merry-go-round is obviously gonna be um, possibly a song, possibly an EP, possibly an album. It might, as, as I scroll down, there might be more information about what merry-go-round is, but at the moment, I don't know what that is. All I know is says merry-go-round. So I'm assuming it's some music which is coming soon. I think it'd be much, much better until we have the, the, the date of when it's coming soon. I think that we, there's a stronger call to action for, uh, for that banner. So I think this banner could be better. I think the picture could be better and I think the message ac going across could be better. And I think this is a key mistake that most people use on their Facebook and that is they assume that people know who they are and so they assume people have already come with them on a journey and you've got to think of people entering your journey today. So they, you might have been doing this for 10 years but they might have just seen you today or it might be an alien from outer space going, who's Jack Ellis? And what is this thing? So you, you don't want to have that many assumptions. So I think merry-go-round, coming soon, bit too vague, picture, bit too vague. I'd rather see either a crowd there going mental or I'd rather see Jack performing, looking awesome. Um, that in the banner. Um, it says sign up, which I won't click, but at least there's a call to action, which is good. Um, the, the sign up button, you can change around to what you want. And I think that is quite important because if you are selling merchandise, if you are selling a CD, if you are selling tickets to a gig, this blue button here is a perfect way to take people to the place where you want them to do it. And it is the call to action button. So this button is very important. This button tells people what it is you want them to do next. And that's very, very important. So next thing, as we scroll down, uh, Jack's got well over 2,000 people who like the page. That tells me he's very super talented uh, because he's doing something right. People really, really like it. In fact, I, with the management site, we've also got friends in common, which tells me he's probably a, uh, a strong musician who hangs around with good musicians because our management, our management page tends to be for musicians. So that's good. Um, then it's got featured for you. So it says, Jack Ellis is a bilingual singer. So I'm like, oh, that's quite interesting. So we'll come back to that in a minute. And then there's the BBC Car Fest, which is obviously a festival that he's playing, which is quite exciting. So I scroll down. Next thing I get to is photos. I'm on the photos. Again, first picture, just not a strong enough image. Second picture, a guitar. Tells me nothing. I think it's a guitar by a Christmas tree. Left alone with nothing around it, that is not a strong enough image for a first impression. So I think that can be stronger. Uh, but the next one, I'm performing at Lou Festival, that, although it says 23rd to 25th of September, that's a strong message. So that can stay because that is where people can find, uh, can buy tickets. So that is a strong picture as long as it is for, for this year. So pictures wise, instantly, that is not a good enough um, first impression for the pictures. But the picture over the side is very, very good. So if I want to go into his pictures, and start having a look around and seeing if there are better pictures in the profile for those pictures, which I'm sure there will be. Yeah, this picture over here, Jack, cool tattoos, cool image, got his guitar, got a microphone, that's a great image. This, the storm release date, as much as it's out of date, at least it's, at least it's telling a story. Uh, this picture here with his guitar, again, great strong image. So all of these are stronger images than the ones that are being portrayed on the front page. It's just something to be aware of that you need to have um, the first impression pictures. So let's go back onto the Facebook. So I'm gonna go underneath the pictures 
Upcoming events, brilliant. So we've got gigs and they look pretty cool. It's a car fest, there's lots of cars, but that will be a festival. Uh, it's for children in need, I think that's really, really good. Then we get to the videos. Now I click the video, I don't know how loud this is gonna be. Okay, lovely writing. I like the way this is all branded. The video's really, really strong. The music sounds fantastic. Now I'm starting to get an idea of who Jack is. Jack is a singer-songwriter with an acoustic vibe. I've seen the acoustic guitar by the Christmas tree. So I'm like, okay, I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to get a picture of it, but it's taken me too long to get there. Let's go on to the second video, just in case he's gone and made himself into a heavy metal band, and that would be weird. Make sure it's consistent. Another strong-looking video. I feel like the views, the comments, and the reactions, we could start to push this a bit more with a little bit of Facebook ads. Not a lot, just a little bit here and there, just to the right demographic. You know, whether that's gonna be Passenger or another acoustic -y artist. Very strong, everything about this is really strong. The music, the artistry, the, the songs, the production, the videos, all of that is very, very strong. Now, pinned tweet. I'm a big fan of pinned tweets because this is the, the most important thing. What are we pinning? What's the most important thing? In Jack's case, he has got uh, a bunch of gigs coming up. In fact, he's got a bit of a tour coming up. Well, that's a great tour, look at that. So, Merthyr, London, Cornwall, um, BBC Cymru, uh, BBC Carfest, Big Cheese Fest, Battle of the Bands, Final. There's some great gigs here over the next three months. I can see why that's pinned. I think that, would be better suited back at the top in this area on the, on the banner, because I think that's more instant. What can people do now? They can come and see it's a gig. Come and, this is where we are playing. And I think the sign up button here should probably take people to, to, to those gigs as well. So I think this here is fantastic, but it isn't, more, it isn't instant enough. So I think those dates could be promoted on a banner just better. So that is what I would put at the top. Um, now you can see it's had two shares, a couple of comments, and a bunch of likes. Now, I think we could do better with this because this is important information. There's 2,100 people who have said, I'm interested in Jack's stuff, and so far I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of them haven't seen this. So I think Facebook advertising to your actual audience is very, very important. Because rather than always looking for new people all the time, because there is that, that numbers metric that makes you want to, to build and have more numbers, that's great, but when you've got the numbers, what are you doing with them? We already know that Facebook is not gonna show all of your shit to all of your followers unless you advertise, unless you pay for it, whether you like it or not. I don't care whether you like it or not, it doesn't make any difference. They are not going to buy into that, that rhetoric that they're your followers and they deserve to see everything. The way Facebook works is, if you get a like, you get a few more people to see it. If you get a share, you get a few more people. If people aren't liking, aren't sharing, and aren't commenting, then Facebook doesn't deem it as important enough to share to all of the people who like your page. Therefore, it's important to get either some likes and some comments and shares, or not necessarily, because you know that's not always the way, or the other thing is just to make sure they see it so they know it's there. And so that, what I would do, is I'd put a little bit of money into advertising to your audience. Now, Facebook is very, very smart. Facebook knows that in order to get to your audience, they are much more likely to buy from you than any other audience because they've already liked what you do. And therefore, it is more expensive to advertise to your audience than it is to advertise to a general audience um, because it's very direct but it is worth it. So what I would do there is I probably would put a little bit of money, and do you know what I'd probably do is I'd probably do, I spend a little bit of time, there's no point in advertising around the whole of, of the country because we can see with the tour, we've got Merthyr, so that's deepest, darkest Wales. Um, I used to play Merthyr Rugby Club when I was a kid, I used to love it. Um, but then we're in London, then we're in Cornwall, so right down in the, in the, the bottom uh, west of the country. Um, then we're back in Wales, then we're in Wales again, then we're in Wales, then we're in Wales. So we've got lots in Wales. So at the moment, there's no point in advertising in, in the Northeast because we're not there. So it doesn't seem pointful to advertise. So when you're gonna advertise 
to your audience, advertise to your audience in the area. So for example, probably 60 or 70% of these gigs are in Wales. So why not advertise to your audience who are in Wales and the ones who are in London? Because you can actually segregate that. So you can have you can have your audience in London because there's a good good gig in London. You could have your audience in Cornwall and you could have your audience in South Wales, for example. And that way you're really alienating those, um, those, that demographic and making sure you get to them and not spending extra money on just everybody. So I think that at the moment is the key. The fact you've got some more music coming out, fine. There's no, I haven't seen any story about that. So it's not important enough at the moment for you to start pushing it because I don't, what, I, what I wouldn't want to happen is I wouldn't want you to go, ta-da, more music. And everyone goes, oh, I wasn't part of that journey. So we need that journey. So where it says coming soon, if it's going to be coming soon, start to actually promote it like you're selling it now whilst you're making it. And don't leave it until it's finished and then say, ta-da. Um, so going off that, uh, we're back to the updating the cover. That's fine. Merry Ground coming soon. Again, we're pushing, we're pushing stuff here. And we're getting likes, but we're not actually we're not actually getting a story. I'd like to have a story. Um, now this is a story. Look at this: a great night supporting black pe uh, black peaches at Chapter Arts. Thanks for coming along and being part of something special. There's a story. Automatically, 34 people like it because there's a bit of a story involved in that one. Um, then you've got a promotion. You're pushing something. People don't give a shit because that's the way people's brains work. Then you've got another one. Come and see us live. People don't give a shit because that's the way people's brains work. Then you've got another push. People don't give a shit because that's the way people's brains work. And it goes on and on and on. And then all of a sudden, scroll, scrolly, 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 scroll. And on the 4th of June, I see this picture, which says, Jack Ellis Music shared Cardiff Music Awards photo. How to receive an award through one eye and I'm like that looks like Jack and this looks like he's on stage receiving an award I think and there's a guy taking a picture and then I scroll down and it says the best solo act best solo act Jack Ellis music presented by PMT House of Rock so in the Cardiff Music Awards Jack's received the best solo act award and I haven't seen it it's not part of the story, but that is absolutely amazing. That needs to be a much bigger deal. It, it hasn't said anything that, you're, like, that you won this award. It's just, uh, what we the 4th of July, one month ago today, which is now is not the time to stop boasting about that. There's just a picture. And then when I scroll down, 197 odd people like or love that post. And there is... 22 comments like people really are happy because they've seen something that's a story and they've gone wow jack is the best solo act that they that they've that they've given an award to and as as a fan or as an audience member i am part of your journey and i like that it brings me value to see that you won that because i think you're great but now cardiff thinks you're great so that is just not big enough i mean unless you are you know, unless you are winning awards every five minutes and it's just like, oh, another award. Fucking hell, got to go and see another award. Here's my next award. Fair enough. But I think this is a pretty big deal. I think this is a bigger deal than everything else we've seen so far. And it should be part of saying, come down to one of my gigs. I'm fucking great. I won an award. People will go, oh, you must be pretty decent. It might sway them into actually coming down to see you live. So this needs to be a bigger deal. The fact that you've won an award is bloody amazing. And there's nothing after that and there's nothing before it. Then we go back into more promos. And then another interesting thing. On the 12th of May, so that is nearly two months ago, there is a T-shirt. Eternal EP hard, uh, hard copy plus the T-shirt competition. Now this is smart. Look at this. Share this post and like the page for a chance to win a free hard copy and Eternal T-shirt. I mean... It says exactly what you need to do. It says exactly what the reward could be for doing the thing. And everybody wins because they go, yeah, I like Jack. I'd love one of Jack's T-shirts. Plus, Jack gets more uh, shares and more likes. This is a really smart way of actually getting stuff out there and actually bringing people value because they get a chance to win some really nice stuff. So I think this is great. Now, I haven't seen this, but I'm assuming... I mean, look at that. 92 people have engaged via liking, loving, or face. 
46 people have shared. 46. So that, whether you like this tactic or whether you don't like this tactic, you cannot deny that of all the things we've seen, this has worked the best. You have brought value, people have engaged because of that. They've said, I'd love to have a, a t-shirt and a CD. So yeah, I'll like it and share it, why not? And all of a sudden they get to win something and someone wins, fantastic. But 46 shares. Now, if the average person, anyone got a calculator? If the average person has got 350 people, friends, on their Facebook, Al, what's 350 times by 46? 46. Al is good at maths. 16,100. 16,000 people have potentially seen that because of one really simple post which brings value. Good maths, by the way. Uh, so, and that's brilliant. I don't see enough of that. Why not? Go and make some t-shirts and bring value to people with your t-shirts. Stop making t-shirts and trying to just always sell them. Make some t-shirts, sell some of them, but use some of them to bring value to what you do. 91, 92 uh, engagements, 46 shares, and a bunch of comments. That is amazing. And I would do that every, if I was him, I'd do that every two, three weeks. You know, we have little things like behind us, we have a, a winner Skype, if you can name the, if you can name the uh, film. Um, it's just ways that you can bring value, I think, are really important, and that one does. Uh, now, we're going to go into one, one other little bit in a minute, because there's some other little bits I want to talk about. Um, but this is another one. Look at this. Big shout out over the waters. This is a radio station in probably America, because it said over the waters. Number three, Jack Ellis music with the song Eternal. Now, nobody's, nobody's really tagged into this enough and no one's really bought into it. So seven people have engaged, whereas I think that is massive. And I think there should be, I think there should be more tags. I think there should, should be more, I think there should be more sending it to people saying, dudes, check this out, I'm so excited. Here's the story. The story is, I'm starting to get played in America. And I'm really excited because I don't live in America. I live in South Wales. And how exciting is it for that? And then what I do is I go to, if he's in Cardiff, I go to the Cardiff Herald or the Swansea Evening Post or whatever it is. And I'd say, my music's starting to actually go to other countries, including America. Do a piece on me. You know, this idea of taking something small and stretching it rather than just going, yeah, that was cool. I'll stick that on there. People can see it. I think it needs to be stretched. So... I think there's a bit of work to be done on this. Part of it is, is you've got the stuff happening, but the stories aren't being told well enough. Now, I know the stories are happening because I'm going to take a quick jump onto Jack's um, Instagram. So I'm on his Instagram, and the first thing I notice is story after story after story. This is a great gig. This is a great gig. This is a great gig. This is probably backstage at a great gig. Here's another gig. Look at this massive festival he's playing. Look at the size of this stage that he's playing. Look at this fantastic festival here. I mean, it's story after story after story. So on Instagram, we're getting the stories. We're getting the behind the scenes stories of what is real. I'm doing all this fun stuff. Everyone come with me on a journey and everyone says, I will come with you on a journey, Jack. When it comes to Facebook, it's just a little bit too professional and it's a little bit too uh it's just a little bit too formal it's just a little bit too i will promote my stuff whereas this great picture look at this look at this here so this is a picture you've got a marshall marshall speaker you've got a black star app with a marshall cab you've got an orange head this you've got a fender probably fender basement or whatever that is over there this is a wicked little studio shot not seen it on the facebook but that's really exciting that that could go somewhere all this gear just shows you, look at these guitars. These guitars are fantastic. Flying V, some kind of weird pink acoustic thing. Got a lovely kind of Bigsby-esque kind of Gretsch type thing, whatever that is. Strat, P bass in the background, this acoustic guitar here. And you just got st stories. This is stories. And this is what I want to see on the Facebook. I want to see these stories on the Facebook because that will work. Now, one last thing I'm going to do is I want to now think of this as someone has come to this country or potentially someone's come to this world from another planet and they've just gone on to Facebook and they've gone, who is Jack Ellis? 
that's the question. What is Jack Ellis doing? Who is Jack Ellis? Now, if we go on to man of the moment, rag and bone man, which I'll clip, doing quite well for himself at the moment, uh, all over Radio 1, doing all the festivals. Let's just compare a couple of little things. Firstly, great picture, rag and bone man. So it's like, that's a great font, but it actually says this here is rag and bone man. So you've got the picture of rag and bone man, rag and bone man. You can't, you can't fuck that up. Then underneath it says the overproof tour. So it's like that is what he's promoting. I am on tour at the moment. Come and see me on tour. Brilliant. I can go to the shop. I can buy t-shirts. I can probably buy tickets. That's the call to action. I scroll down a little bit further. First thing, massive stage, lots of people going mental. He's playing. It says, it's a pinned tweet and it says UK and Ireland dates for the overproof tour. Again, going back to the banner, going back to the first pinned tweet is, is, is uh, the same thing. We're promoting the same thing. Um, and that is the tour. Come and see us live, come and book tickets. And then after that, you look down, you go, wow, this guy is the man of the moment. He is playing massive stages and people are going mental. I can, I can put myself into the position of the person in the crowd and want to come and see you play. He's got some music videos, he's got his upcoming events. Um, it's just easy. It shows how busy he is and it's telling the story. This is who I am, this is what I'm doing, and, and your journey to go with him is easier because it's easier for you to understand. Who is Rag and Bone Man? Within 30 seconds, I know who Rag and Bone Man is, I know what he sounds like, I know where he's at with his career, I know what his music sounds like, I know what his voice sounds like. So you've got to get that across with the stories and what you're doing. And I think, I think Jack has got all of the things to be able to do that. It's just that he's not at the moment, but I think they're all there. I think the fact that he's doing these gigs, I'm not expecting him to be the same size as Rag and Bone Man yet, but over time, there's no reason why he can't grow into that. But at the moment, at the moment, we're not telling the stories and we're not telling people the most important question, which is, who is Jack Ellis? That's the most important point. I wanna know who is Jack Ellis. So that's pretty much it. What I need you to do now is I need you to write a list of the things that we're talking about. I need you to go back and look at the Facebook reviews that we've already done and start to implement them into your Facebook. Um, because I'm not seeing enough of the implementation. And I'm getting loads of people patting me on the back saying that was really good. And I'm like, well, do the fucking shit, do the stuff. Otherwise it's pointless me doing this stuff. And I want you to, I'm, I'm here to help you. I want you guys to actually get to where you wanna go with your career. I promise you, that if Jack implements the stuff that we're talking about, I promise you he will get more engagement. And the reason for that is because he'll bring more value, because he's got it all there, he'll bring more value, um, which will then get more engagement, which means then that will get seen by more people, which means they'll get more engagement, and it goes round and round in circles. So you, you guys need to actually take this in, write it down, and actually go onto your Facebook and actually do the things that we're talking about. Now, if you want me to review your Facebook, you need to do two things. Number one, you need to send me a link to your Facebook. But number two, you need to actually implement the stuff that we're talking about first, because what this is not, this is not about doing the same thing every single week. This is about evolving, and actually looking into different things that could work with Facebook. I don't just wanna go back to the beginning every week, that doesn't work. So what I need is I need to see people evolving their Facebook and actually paying attention to what we're talking about, and then what we'll do is then we can just keep improving them time and time and time again. So before you actually ask me to review your Facebook, go back and actually do the shit, do the stuff, otherwise it doesn't work. So without sounding harsh, you know, I'm here for you, I'm trying to help. Um, other than that, if you can do me a favor, if you can say well done to Jack, because obviously, you know, when you pour your heart and soul into something and then someone comes along and starts picking holes in it, it's not very nice. So I want you to, uh, do me a favor and just in the comments below, just, you know, thumbs up to Jack or like it or whatever you want to do just to say well done to Jack, because it will be appreciated because he's, he's a great, uh, I really like him as an artist. I think he's really, really good. Great musician, great songwriter, great vocalist. He's doing a great job. Um, so big thumbs up to him. Anything you need, then get in touch either on comments below. That's usually the best way because my Facebook's just 
bonkers. Um, Twitter, Damien Keys. If you can do me a favor and if you can subscribe to my YouTube, I'm going to ask you every week, but considering how many people watch this stuff, I'm, I just haven't got the subscriptions on YouTube that I feel A, I should, or B, that, that until I'm going to stop asking. So if you can do me a favor and just subscribe to the YouTube, that will make a massive difference to my life. Otherwise, anything you need, give me a share. And if not, well done, Jack. I'll see you guys tomorrow.